hi guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be showing you guys 10 different ways that I like to use acrylic paint in my Bible and I'm gonna show you guys examples of pages that I've made using those 10 different ways so let's jump into that video all right so I'm going to be showing you these 10 different ways that I like to use acrylic in my Bible using this old journaling Bible that I have I really just use it to test and see if different things will work in my Bible that's what I'm gonna be working on today. So I'm going to grab this paper plate and I'm gonna use just different bright color acrylics to show you guys all these different techniques that I know. And I don't know the correct name for all of these techniques. So I'm just gonna call it by the way that I like to remember it. Um, so forgive me if I don't have like the correct technique name for these but first and foremost we're gonna start with what I like to call the q-tip technique and you're gonna grab as many q-tips as you want and I'm putting the different colors of acrylic on this paper plate dipping the end of the q-tip into the color that I want to use and using the q-tip to stamp in my Bible like so and what I can do with this is make different little designs. I'll show you some pictures of designs that I've used Q-tips for. And I also um, use Q-tips to make leaves on trees and also to make flowers. The next technique I like to call the gift card technique. You're just going to get an old gift card and you're going to dip the edge of it into the acrylic paint. And you are going to hold your gift card at an angle and you're just gonna drag down and it's gonna make this nice dragged acrylic effect. You can use this to create a cool background. You can even do these sideways if you want. I'll show you guys again different pictures of how I've done my pages using this technique. So it's pretty cool, easy, and it's fun to do. third technique that I have for you guys is the cotton ball technique and again you're going to go ahead grab a cotton ball and you're going to dip it into your paint and what I like to do is kind of take a little bit of the excess of paint off of it and I'm going to use that cotton ball to just stamp acrylic on the page and it's going to give this effect on it and it can make a really nice and cool background. So this one is going to be another alternative to the gift card technique. What you're going to do is you're going to put small amounts of different color of acrylics all over the page like so. Just like in the gift card technique, you're going to hold your gift card at an angle and drag the acrylic down in either a straight or swivelly motion like I have right here. And this also works as a really cool background. Mm -hmm. 
next technique that I really enjoy is using stencils for my acrylic. So I um, will either hold it down or secure my stencil with washi tape as I add acrylic to it. I find it a little better to have it nice and secure just in case I move my I tend to move my hand a little. Um, it doesn't like completely move out of place. So I am going to be securing mine with some washi tape and then I'll be adding acrylic to it. I like to use these sponge brushes that I get from Dollar Tree. Some of you might have seen them around, um, but this really works well for me. You can use any paintbrush that you have to, or a sponge um, to go ahead and add acrylic to your stencils. And this is the way I like to do it. I kind of like to tap it in to the stencil. And the next technique is the paint splatter technique. Now for this one, you're going to want to add a little bit of water to your acrylic paint just to make it a little more loose. And then you, after you dip your paintbrush into that acrylic paint and water mixture, you're going to tap it over the page that you're going to illustrate. Now, if I have any tips for this, I suggest that you cover your area so that you don't have paint splatter all over it. And I also suggest that you cover any other pages where you don't want paint splatter to get all over. So that will help tremendously. The next technique is the baby wipe technique. You're going to wrap a baby wipe around your pointer finger, dip that into the acrylic, and go ahead and make little marks with your finger all around the page, as many as you want, and in different colors if you want it that way. This is really easy and a really fun little technique to decorate your Bible page. This next technique, you're going to want to recycle either a roll of toilet paper or a paper towel roll and you're going to cut a piece of it and you're going to dip just the edges of that roll all the way around it as you can see right here and then you're going to use that to stamp it on your page and it's going to make these round shapes that are not necessarily perfect, which is actually kind of cute. <laughs> and you can overlap them like so and also use different colors. Next technique I have lots of fun with, I've used it on myself and I've used it also with my kids. You're going to grab a sponge brush or whatever brush that you have, a paintbrush, and you're going to paint acrylic on your hand and you're going to stamp your hand on the page to create the design. And this is so, so, so much fun to do. Um, I suggest to put a thin layer of acrylic just so that your handprint shows up even more and it also dries up quicker. Last and final technique is probably the most obvious one, but it would be to just go at the page with your paintbrush 
I am not con I'm a painter at all. I don't consider myself a painter at all. I don't know how to paint. But um, I think that if you imagine what you're going to paint, it really helps. Or if you have a picture of what you want to paint, that really helps. So don't be shy or scared to go at your page and just freehand what you're painting. Remember that we are creating pages that are very personal to us and they're pages that are just going to help us remember the word that we studied or maybe that moment, that difficult moment that we were going through that God helped us get through, etc, etc. Um, so don't worry about if it comes out perfect or not. Just make it something personal and something that you can remember every time that you open up your Bible. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. There is a lot of new things that are going to be coming to Jelly Bean Bible Journaling. So keep an eye out for those things. And I will see you guys in the next video. God bless.